What's going on guys? Spider here for Destiny. We got Trials of Osiris, June 12th, 2015 to the 16th. I believe this is week four. We're on the Cauldron Ocean of Storms on the moon. And uh, we're going to show you some highlights from our 9-0 run. Unfortunately, a lot of connection issues this time around, at least on Friday afternoon. Now, we spawn in on the right-hand side. That's... I'm the hunter, I'm in the middle. So when you spawn spawn in on the right-hand side, you have a bit of an advantage, and you're going to see where we go. I actually paused here, I was doing something, but um, we're going to over to the left, and this room right in the middle, right to the right of me, I'm going to go through this door. That room right there, that's where the flag spawns. That's where the overtime occurs, and you have to capture the flag right in there. Okay, so whoever controls that middle room is going to have a fairly significant advantage. Uh, and when we spawn in on the side that we spawn in, we have an advantage because we can get in there before the other team. The other team is at a disadvantage. So we're going to show you, um, you know, from the other way as well, okay? We're going to show you what we did when we were on the other side, but I wanted to show you what, you know, can be done when you start on this side. Take control of that room, if at all possible. Okay, we also did some flanking maneuvers where we went around the left-hand side, and you're going to see that in, in this clip upcoming, right? So we're going to flank these guys along the left-hand side. Uh, sometimes you get aggressive players, sometimes you go, don't. Uh, we're fairly defensive. Uh, see, there's a sniper. you got to watch out for that sniper spot right there, okay? That, uh, that is a dangerous spot. I always try and keep to the right-hand side as much as possible when I'm jumping over onto that bridge that leads into that center room. All right, so now we basically flank them on their spawn, and we're taking them out in this middle area. All right, so they didn't push. They didn't push into that room. Um, so we just, you know, flanked them. They had one guy that was by himself sniping over on that left-hand side. Took him out quite easily. And then the other two guys were separated. So they couldn't really do anything. They couldn't come revive. We were able to control the ghosts and then come in and finish them off. All right? So two big keys. One, control this room like we're doing. And we're going to show you, right? If the other team's not aggressive, look how much time is left. Two, one, zero. Flag spawn right there. There's nothing they can do, especially when all three of our players... I mean, if they came in with a Titan and, and, and you know, wrecked their team, I mean, good on them. But, you know, we I think we are fairly well separated. And I came in the last second and we got the capture, okay? Now, this is what I mean by... Uh, the connection issues, all right? Now watch this. We're going to be going in here. I'm just taking a look at uh, my my uh, loadout and taking a look at the other characters. Player left. A player has left your fire team. Hyper got kicked from our lobby so many times, at least three or four times, and it ended up being me and Y Strikes generally versus one other person. So I'm assuming that the same thing happened to the other team, that they lost two players. Um, I think each time during this run and it's really unfortunate i mean it sucks to be on the other end and unfortunately you know fortunately for us we were never on that other end we never ended up with one player um so you know why strikes and i we're, we're gonna play this out i mean of course we're gonna play this out right uh because we're not taking the loss that's for sure and it's really unfortunate that you know we had to win like this and that hyper wasn't involved in this win because what ended up happening was at the end of our run why strikes and i had our nine and oh and hyper was still sitting at seven and oh so we went to mercury we had to come back and play a couple more games with hyper in order to get him his nine and oh so so that he can go to mercury so it happened several times and it sucked like look at this i mean this one time here where all three of us came in and there was nobody it's like what the heck where's the the other team and you know that happens that sometimes happens when you're on your way and the other team backs out but i don't know like is it because of that or is it because of connection issues there were a lot of connection issues especially earlier on in the day yesterday we were having major problems connecting to destiny but it really kind of wrecked things for uh, trials of osiris and just to recap from the video that i posted last night about this op hunter super right this is just a short clip. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link to you in the, des the description because it's it's really messed up. Like, it's really got to be fixed. Watch my super energy, right? Boom! Boom! And it's because of the armor combination and the frags that I'm using that allows me to get my super energy full. And this is round one. Look at the score. It's 0-0, zero, zero, right? Elimination, 0-0. Zero, zero. That's the first round. I get full super energy. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at from the other side. So we spawn in on the other side, and we have a longer way to go to get into that middle room. But 
if the other team's not aggressive, you can actually move in there. So we're going to show you a couple instances where, okay, this team isn't being that aggressive. We can actually go into that room and control it from the other side where this team, you know, has the advantage. They could have gone in there sooner and cut us off at the doorway. Okay. So now we're just going to defend. We're going to defend that room. It's just that we're defending it from the opposite side. So we're, you know, we're watching on the right hand side now instead of the left hand side. And uh, just skipping ahead, because these guys weren't aggressive. I mean, you know, if we have an advantage at the capture point, we're not going to be super aggressive. We're not going to be super aggressive and try and, and go in there and push and go all gung-ho. We have control of the capture point, period. We're not going to lose that, all right? So we're kind of, yes, we are sitting back. We're playing more defensively. But you'll see in the next round that I show that we do get aggressive, especially when the other team has control of that center room, all right? So these guys are going to start running in. They know the time's ticking down right we're down at 12 seconds now they know that time's ticking down so they got to make a move at some point uh they have one guy looks like he's trying to flank yeah he's he's out behind me basically all right now these guys are coming in we got one of our teammates is down i got a second i got one kill right there the guy comes up behind me with the uh, shotgun and then y and hyper are able to finish it off so y strikes you know i i basically acted as uh as bait so that y could um pick up hyper and then we can continue for that win. So here's where we're going to see. Okay, these guys have actually moved into that center room. So we're going to go around and flank them from this left-hand side. Hyper and I are going through here. And Y is watching from that other doorway. So here we go. He's running at us with a shotgun. Shotguns are, um, you know, you're going to see it a lot in this map. Because it's a lot of close quarters. Aside from that left-hand side where I showed you where the sniper is. When we spawn on the other side. Where the sniper is going to be potentially right so then we just flank these guys so we got y on that that first door we come around and and take them out so there's a couple you know a few different ways you can play it i mean you can come in on the right hand side but um when we're spawned on the side that we just did but then the problem is the other team has an advantage on that left hand side right on their side so on um, player has left your fire team so this was actually the last game so we were 8-0, Y-Strikes and I were 8-0, Hyper was 7-0, and we had another connection issue. It's me and Y-Strikes against one guy, so, you know, hey, we're not, <laughs> we're not just going to back out and, and take a loss or anything. We're, uh, we're on to our 9-0, so we're going we're gonna to try and wreck this guy. And like I said, it's really, really unfortunate for the other team. It sucks, but what can we do about it? There's nothing we can do about it, so we're just going to go and take this guy out. And, uh, yeah, Y-Strikes got him with his grenade. And then Y-Strikes and I are going to go to Mercury. And we're going to have to play a couple more games to get Hyper there. All right? So, uh, yeah. The Lighthouse! Uh, I got to show you the cutscene every time. Come on. We got we to see it's going into Mercury. I, I don't know. It's pretty hot. I'm kind of starting to sweat already because it's so hot here on Mercury. Man, we're damn, we're damn close to the sun, aren't we? Hope we got some uh, sunblock, some uh, SPF uh, 1 million. <laughs> I don't know. See what I mean? It's pretty damn bright. But it looks pretty epic. Uh, the, technical, the technological advances of the human and various other races in this century, whatever century you're in. All right, so here we go. We got the, uh, the chest and check it out. Woo! What? That's all I got? Passage coins, motes of light, and, and etheric light? Oh, but wait, wait, my inventory is full. I did get something else. We're just going to go look at the Postmaster, and there we go. The Jewel of Osiris Adept. It's got Solar Burn on it. Yes. All right. An elite trophy earned only by Trials of Osiris Champions. It looks pretty sweet, actually. I like it. It, it does look pretty sweet, doesn't it? The uh, perks it has is uh, the radar remains active while I'm aiming down the sights and uh, improved accuracy when I'm airborne, all right, if you didn't see that. So uh, that's it, guys. Travels of Cyrus 9-0 for June 12th. Unfortunately, it kind of sucked. There were some major, major issues with the Trials of Osiris this week. Connection issues as well as this whole super grenade thing with the, with the Hunters. It's, uh, yeah, I hope they, uh, they fix it soon. I won't be touching Trials of Osiris at least until next week. Let's hope that it's fixed by that time. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. We'll have more for you very soon. I'm Spider and I'm out.